If your microwave oven is not heating, here are the top seven most probable causes. The microwave diode converts the alternating current power output of the transformer to direct current, doubling the voltage to nearly 5,000 volts. This high voltage powers the magnetron to heat the food. If the diode is burned out, the magnetron will not receive enough voltage to operate. When a diode fails, it will often appear visibly damaged. You can also test the diode with a multimeter and a 9-volt battery to determine if the diode has continuity, a continuous electrical path present in the part. The diode should only show continuity in one direction. If the diode tests negative for continuity in both directions, or has continuity in both directions when the leads are reversed, then the diode has failed and will need to be replaced. Most microwaves have three or four door switches that allow the microwave to start or heat once the door is fully closed. A defective door switch may prevent the microwave from heating even with the door closed. You can test each switch for continuity using a multimeter to determine if one or more have failed. If the magnetron itself is malfunctioning, the microwave will not heat. Again, you can use a multimeter to test the magnetron for continuity to help determine if the part is malfunctioning. The reading should be less than 1 ohm for the magnetron to be working properly. Since the part is not repairable, a burned out magnetron will need to be replaced with a new one. The high voltage capacitor works with the diode to convert the alternating current to direct current and double the voltage. If the capacitor is defective, the entire high voltage circuit will stop working and the microwave will not heat. You can use a VOM meter with a capacitance testing capability to help determine if the capacitor has failed. Before handling the capacitor, you should release the potentially stored electrical charge to avoid injury. Place a screwdriver or pliers with an insulated handle across each set of terminals. Be very careful not to touch the metal portion of the tool when doing this. The high voltage transformer may be failing to power the magnetron. When a transformer fails, it will often arc and produce a burning smell. A thermal fuse, cavity fuse, or thermal protector are designed to cut off the power to the microwave if the appliance overheats. Again, you can use a multimeter to test these components for continuity to determine if they have blown and need to be replaced. Although it is not a common problem, the main control board may be defective. You should inspect and test the other components first to ensure they're working properly before replacing the control board. Be aware that the high voltage and current used by microwave ovens can cause injury or death if the unit is being disassembled. You should always unplug the appliance before attempting any repairs, but since the high voltage capacitor may retain a charge even after the oven has been unplugged, we recommend that only experienced professionals test and replace internal components. All of the parts shown in this video are available on our website. Be sure to enter the full model number of your appliance to find the specific replacement part that will fix your microwave oven.